Let's play this game. It's called Coffee Talk. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. Oops, hold on. Game. Coffee Talk. Let's change the thing. Coffee Talk. Update. Wait, did I not change the game source? I did. It's not showing up. Uh, it's probably because I'm not in the game. Good enough. There you go. Togue Productions. Okay, I have time to switch the audio source, I think. You come through the game channel. It does! Nice. I like when I can do that. Uh, options? Okay, tunes. Auto dialogue, off, skip dialogue, read. Red. Okay. Let's see what this is about. What's your name? My name is, uh, Big Papa. My name is Big Papa. Confirm. Is Big Papa correct? Yes. Oh, Seattle. This year. That's when COVID breaks out. You don't want to be there. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Wow, dark. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Look at the Space Needle. It looks good. Writing in game. Oh, wait. These are credits. Looks like Streets of Rage. Why is there an orc in the background? And there's demons and there's an elf person. What the? All right. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their star startups. I almost said starships. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Hmm, that looks good, actually. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. I'm really liking this beginning. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Why is there a, a mouse person? And that bouquet looks like a leg. Looks like someone chopped off a leg. He just left it there. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. That was loud. Big Papa. Welcome. Oh, it's you. I like your hair. Her name's Freya. Oh, I like your name. That's a name for Norse goddess. Uh, we gotta do a, a voice. There you go. Hey, Big Papa. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. Look at the devil person in the background with the tail. Oh, maybe it's a cat person. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some lo logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> that's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? 
You got that right. What are you writing now? You remember my plan to... Loud. Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. You want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forgot how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Whoa, I'm actually gonna make a coffee! Uh... Check my phone. Alright, I don't know if I want to play with this controller. Brew pad, Toma de Chill, Brew pad, Shuffle ID, The Evening Whisper, Brew pad. Uh. Oh, this is awesome. Hold on a minute. Triple shot espresso. Uh. Just espresso? All right. Black than a moonlight, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Uh. Wow. All right. This is kind of cool. Uh. But how do I make it? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Got it. Okay. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's go. Here you go. This is awesome. I'm heckin' loving this already. Here you go. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that's a that aroma. Oh my god, I'm loving this game already. Ugh, exactly what I need. Anyway, where are we? Or where were we? You're planning to do something. Yes, uh, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yeah. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your... Oh, at least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you, you're right. You said something I should have done. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whisper? GRA Media, right? Yeah. And they are the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division. He'll sign me up for a publishing deal. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds great. What about your job in the Evening Whisper? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Mm, well, it was so bad that uh, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Oh, really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. I like her necklace. Hi, friend! 
Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. We're here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. No plan- not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about chocolate? It's perfect for the weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate, please. Wrong voice. Anything with chocolate, please. Anything with a heckin' chocolate, please. Let's go. Is this music? Oh, these are friends. I'm friends with Freya. Yeah. Person with a squirrel and a police officer. All right. Uh, anything with chocolate, dark chocolate. This one. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Really? What is this? Cocoa powder. Here you go. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let's go. Making the best hot chocolate there is. Let's go. Serve up. One cup of chocolate ready. Thank you. It's so warm. Oh, do you see her phone case? It has devil horns on it too. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only cafe that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the cafe only open at night? Definitely not. Yep. Yep, what she said. And why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe like this? That's a secret. Big Papa here. Big Papa here is, a, is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Big Papa can manage. I'm sure the cafe won't go bankrupt anytime soon. He'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. He's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up. Wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to, this, to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool! Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. I don't even know what to write about. ding a ding a ding 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 Welcome! What's up, dude? Welcome! Look at his scarf. Hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hey there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Heck yeah, let's make a latte. Cafe latte. Something bitter. With some milk. Something to keep him up. Caffeine boost dominated by milk. Both sweet and savor with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Ooh, let's do that. Green tea, milk, milk. Green tea. Milk, milk. Here you go. Latte art. Yes, latte art. Yo! Etch. 
Uh, I'm gonna do a doggo. No, it's not gonna let me. Or milk. Oh, that's how it works. All right. Uh, gotta make something with that. Uh. Sure. Oh, if he goes slower, it does bigger pulls. Okay. It's the end of the universe. That's what this is. I kind of like it. it looks kind of cool. It's a pine cone. Bloop. 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 Serve it. There you go. You like it? Here's your order. Oh, he said he wanted something bitter, though. I knew he wasn't going to stay, stay awake. Want some cookies? Time to go for the bitties. Jada, go get the bitties. Go get them. Go get them, your favorite. Go get the bitties. Time to go for the bitties. Yum. He's going to be mad now. This won't help me stay awake. Thanks for the bitties, my, my dude. But at least it's got milk. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I'm having a nice chat with him. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oops, wrong one. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. I am Freya. Mm, yes, we got both the doggos. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Big Papa. <laughs> Hey, did you know Miss Freya here's a writer for the Evening Wit Whisper? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Uh. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some car caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in the contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. <laughs> oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. There's always another layer of hell beneath the deepest hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunkards or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. I'm as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is, I'm going to write. So uh, I'll leave you to... in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Everyone's so nice. Shall we move to other seats too? Nah, he's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? Is she gonna break up with him? Oh, she's smoking. I didn't realize that. It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it's really great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me bit me help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. <laughs> you should ask Big Papa here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? Now do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers with other customers. 
Now that's one good business lesson, or that's one good business lesson to learn for the day. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, did she always have tattoos on her horns? I don't remember seeing those. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. I kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They are your family. I can't stand even... I can't stand even one more second being part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. How come the thing switched with the cut through the middle? But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about even if, even if I outlive you. What? But nothing. How about if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an elf? What? I'm confused. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. There it is. That's exactly what they said. So that's it then. Oh, she said. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that, that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without... Or without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be in this kind of relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to serve... Oh, I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Oh, whoa. If I get to spend... If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Ooh, wait. Oh, she left. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. Oh, that's me. That's alright. This cafe has been seen all sorts of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Uh, <laughs> I hope so too. You have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? I just made him a green tea latte. Do you like green tea lot or do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one. I just made you one. All right, that's fine. Uh, green tea latte. Green tea milk milk. Green tea milk milk. Brew it up. Let's go. Coming right up. Green tea latte with some beautiful latte art. Uh, I'm going to draw a happy doggo. This is a doggy face. Blurp. Blurp. And a noisy. That's a dog. I promise. It's a dog! <laughs> That's awful. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Just exactly the made that I made you a minute ago. Thank you for this. By the way. Oh, wait. By the way, are you married? Me? No. You have someone you love? I love this cafe. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Oh, easy. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. 
Man, out of all creatures in the world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. True. Anyways, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. You were listening from the corner? Yeah. Poor souls. I hope they find their way together soon. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early, earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. End of demo. Midsummer night's dream, sweet and memorable like summertime blues. Not end of demo. I'm liking this game already. This is, this would be fun. It's Wednesday, September 23rd. 2020. Zombie virus from Africa might have reached Seattle. Dude, was this made when COVID came out? Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local. It's the same thing. Is, is that just a chance of events? Or like, are these random hit titles? Because that's funny. Getting ready. Hey, it's Freya. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Move those. Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This cafe. What? I'm going to write stories about this cafe and the people who come here. That might piss people off. Are you for real? Yes. What if they say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. You totally should. It's not, that's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see in here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't e get even more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a cafe, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see what's, who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. ding a ding a ding, -ding. She has a cat on her phone. I really like... Oh, that should be continued! I really like the art in this game. Ow! Alright, I want that game, too. That was fun. That was very chill, and the music, like... Freaking... Alright, that, that game. That game. That game has... That game has my attention. It looks gorgeous. The tunes were great. The, the art was so good. Also, it was very chill. One of those really cool, chillaxy kind of games, I think. But, my friends, I am at normal time here. I think, uh, well, I'm 10 minutes early, but... Like I said earlier, I have not been sleeping, so maybe we will go on a raid and send some love to some lovely friends. Let's see. Wow, Jules is playing really late today. <gasps> Melody's playing. Fidel's playing. We got friends. Hold on. Is Videl ending? No, Videl is mid-game. Let's go raid Videl. I don't think we've raided Videl yet, and she's raided us. 
So get your messages out and ready. You guys know how this works. Let's go raid Videl. She's a lovely streamer. Lovely friend of ours. We've played many games with her. Absolutely adore her. So let's go give her some loves. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys liked it, if you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay neutering your pets. Adopt no shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. This itchy one here is a Jada's and the brown baked potato down there is Mama's. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.